Hey guys, this is a little walk around on my 2010 Volkswagen Polo. This here is a TSI model and it has the sports pack on it, so the top end model. So as you can see towards the bottom you get the fog lamps which comes in the sport pack one and you also get the 90 inch sport wheels and sport suspension as well as the body kit that comes with it so you get those sport side skirts. There's like halogen headlights with the indicator. If you go for the later models of the Volkswagen Polo, this comes in a gloss kind of black which looks a lot better compared to this matte finish. Volkswagen logo. Even though when the fog lights are off, they um, illuminate at night when you're turning so you can see where you're going. I might give a little demonstration of that later. You got 90 inch wheels running on Continentals Premium Sport Contact 2s. It says there. It's side skirts. your indicators it's on the side of the side mirror it's quite nice so this is the kind of gloss plastic kind of look you get on the front if you go for the later versions of the Volto and your door handles it's quite solid thud Kind of little spoiler they have got here. Third brake light. Also, this car has um, daytime running lights on the rears. You can't see it here, but um, it looks quite nice at night when you see it. Um, just to let other drivers there's you're on the road and stuff like that. It's quite nice. You, there's no actual handle, so you just press it in like this. And it unlocks. See the TSI version. So it's a petrol. Run the petrol. All light on the side. And it's quite big for a small car. Quite small. It's like the size of a Mazda 2. And if you undo that, I believe you get access to elect the electricals or for the headlights or whatever. Let's just open this handle. You can also slide this down. So if you want to maximize the boot, which I'm not going to do. You can slide it down if you want to, but I'll just open that instead. And you can, it gives you maybe, maybe like two inches of more space if you want to put tall items or whatever. Um, like a plant or whatever. Just hold it here and you can get access to the floor, under floor compartment. That's where the spare tires. Um, it's not, you get the full kit, like your screws, the jacks, everything, but um, it's not full size spare tire, which sucks, but hey, it's space saver one that you get here. Got rear parking sensors, as you can see. quite wide these tires on this car, it's quite wide. Oh. Fuel cap. Coin to here runs on 95 or 98, you can only fill and the fuel. Couple scuffs here and there, it's because I've had this car for a while. Also, a little bit part of the indicators are also here. It's quite cool. I like how there's a lot of, you can see out of it, which 
which is good and it's also small so it doesn't get away get into the way your vision or whatever. It's got those This car has about 77 kilowatts. Um, it's a DSG, so it's got it's automatic. It's quite good, and it's turbocharged and supercharged. So even though it doesn't seem like much, it's actually quite powerful. Your key, if you want to get in. Well, it's tickled from the inside. This car comes in two options, you can get the manual, the six speed manual, or the, as you see you got here, the DSG, it has seven gears and they're very good, like it switches gears very quickly, it's quite smooth and very efficient. Um, you can also switch it to a, let's move the seat forward, you can switch it into a sport mode, so you can bring it down and switch it to sport mode, it's quite good. You can get this one, like you can get the, you can get this or the manual, but I recommend you go for the DSG, reason being is because um, a car like this, you drive in the city all the time and things like that, so the last thing you want to be doing is shifting gears every two seconds, so especially with Melbourne traffic, it's insane. Um, yeah, it seems a bit noisy because the car hasn't been serviced, it's done a lot of kilometres, but yeah. Aux cable over here, 12 volt power supply, and I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to USB them to go there. Handbrake, this is optional, could you believe it? And it's broken, which is crap. That's part of this is meant to lock there, but it's not there, so it doesn't work. Um, it's not much space, I mean, you could put your keys or things like that. Spare coins you could put here. These are quite large, I quite like that. You can put and there's a little hidden over here. You can put lots of stuff there. Deep vents to put your drinks. You just just knob and then it turns on. It's quite powerful, so. So to turn it off you have to swivel it all the way down, which is annoying. It's just your fan speed. And um, that's your temperature, whether you want warm or colder. Auto. Max. Then your demister. Towards the front, the floor. A recycling and AC. I don't know what these two do. I don't know. And you can mount an SD card here. Interesting. Oh, uh, you got the radio. FM, AM. I think that's for media. Phone, setup. Music if you want to change the audio, change CDs, your tracks, and if I turn it on, this is your, this is optional, you can get the standard radio. I recommend getting it, because there's no point getting this one, but if you go for this, you get an upgrade stereo, so apparently it sounds nicer. Six speakers. You can also increase the volume from here. Turn it down. Or switch it. Change the station. Answer calls, and that's to mute it. To mute the stereo. Let's turn it off. Um, you can get navigation as well, but um, on these type of cars, there's no point buying my navigation. But also, it's really expensive, like three grand. Might as well just buy a sat nav. Oh, your yeah, aircon vents. As you can see, I'm not turn this one off. Your yeah, aircon vents. 
and to lock it, you just slide it down. Um, got a nice chrome as well, I like that, that's quite nice. Um, you can also lock it here as well. Um, these are to increase intensity, you want more lighting of the instrument. I don't want to change any settings, or if you want brighter lights, you can turn it up. Um, headlights, I believe. And this also is, I think, your fogs or interior lights or something. Yeah, interior lights. Okay. And oh, cool. I like how it illuminates here as well. Even the CD, as you can see here, lights up so you can see where your CD is at night. I quite like that. Let's turn on. And if you want to fog lights, you pull it out. That's how Volkswagen does it. So, hmm, it's interesting. Um, yeah, as you can see, you got your controls here, your steering wheel, airbag, some metal, kind of. Move this seat back. Okay, nice look again. Um, as you can see here, it can do in our 450 kilometers on whatever leftover fuel we have. Get chrome around here, and I like this. This is quite like the dials and stuff are quite nice. And this here on the stalk is your, you know, you got your. Indicates on the left as being a German car. Um, and your hazards right there, so. Um, here, where it says trip is, you know, you can, your yeah, wipers and everything, but also where it says trip right here, you can actually change the LCD screen, what it says. So if I do something right now, tilt that down. It's how fast you can go, so you don't have to look at the Instrument cluster, you can see directly around from you, it's quite nice. Um, how much you're averaging? Was it? No, speed limit. And one of them tells you how much you're averaging. Oh, that's the speed limiter. The temperature outside, 14.5 degrees. Wow. It does actually feel that. I feel it's a bit colder. Now 15, okay. Um, yeah, this car's done about quite a lot of kilometers. It's done about. 96,535, quite a bit. It's a full tank. I don't think it's a full tank, actually. Probably that's what it says. Um, yeah, it's little engine lights, everything. So it's quite cool, you can change whatever it says. I don't know what this does. Oh, whoops, that changes the time, okay. Let's leave that. Don't want to mess with anything. Um, this car goes at 240 kilometers per hour, so it's quite cool, apparently. Um, your vanity mirror. So you can put something here, like a card or something. Never used it. When you slide it, it turns on the light here. It's quite nice. Your rear view, rear view window. I'm sorry, rear view mirror. Also, um, as you can see, there's a little light here. So when I press this button here, it turns off. And what that does is when you're at night, the glare you have towards the rear you get a lot of glare sometimes you get when from other people's people driving because their headlights you just press that and it dims it so you can see perfectly fine without your vision getting all hazy or whatever same thing here you can slide it into mirror your lights I thought this could open mm. And you know, your demister, your track control, and I did that earlier. So those turn on. Um, your glove box here. It's actually chilled, so there's a little knob here you can turn on and off. And you can chill your drinks and stuff. It's actually quite cold, I actually quite like that set. I don't know what that is. Um, there's a knob here, I think, to turn off the airbag. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the other car, not this car. Uh, you can put your coins, things like that. They have, over here, you got little dispensers here. You can put your little coins when you want to go to specific places in the pen holder. It's quite interesting. Nifty way. It's, it's quite big for a car of this size and sunglasses. It's quite dirty, but it's all your sunglasses or whatever. So if you go for a car wash, you can put your coins here if you wanted to. Um, here is for your iPod. If you want to, I don't know, you want to uh, hook up your iPod, but this is a special cable. And that's when you can control it through here. Without actually doing anything, you can control it. 
through here. But then um, I normally use the aux cable because of the fact that I don't have an iPhone, i got an Android phone. And to get that special cable, it's kind of annoying, so it costs too much. So, it's a bit hard to close this thing. There you go. It's not, it doesn't close that well. Uh, it's soft touch dash. Check this out. Soft touch. So, I quite like that. It's very nice, but not this is all hard and it's got some cloth. More cloth. Um, you guys, as you can see, you can fit some your drinks and all that over here. The speaker, it's an upgrade speaker system, but it sticks out a lot, so it kind of rubs against my foot when I'm driving. I put this in the just to get more space. I've actually, if I put it how it normally is, actually, when I want to rest, it as you can see, it just blocks that. So put your drinks and stuff, your window switches. One touch automatic. Um, that's to put for your messenger. Yeah, um, that's not automatic, unfortunately. For the only the drivers, lock, unlock the windows, so people can't turn them on. You can. Your. Oh wait, no, they are electric. Um, automatic as well. Don't think so. Um, yeah, these have got comfort seats, according to Volkswagen. So it's an optional extra. Yeah, well, it's an option you can get. And they're apparently more comfortable. Do I find them comfortable? Not really. Um, the ball string feels like it's made from concrete. So, and they don't feel that. The rear seats are much more comfortable, though, which is strange. So maybe it's because it's weird out, but I don't find them comfortable. It's a little, that's a little toggle switch to actually drag up and down the seats. So I might check out the rear seat. Um, let's check it out. Oh yeah, I forgot your pedals. Brake accelerate, you know. And that's to open the engine bay. Don't want to do that because it's really hard to open. Yeah, some of the stitching has come off, as you can see. Check out the rear seat. I've pushed the seat quite back, so it may not look like much space, but there's a quite a lot of space actually in here for a small car. I managed, I managed to actually fit someone who was about almost two meters, so or quite huge, and they fat, sat here perfectly fine in the rear seat. It's quite impressive. See, these seats are much more comfortable, which is strange compared to the front. Maybe it's because they're not as weird out. I don't know why. Um, it's kind of, it's got this weird material, I think it's because it's more industrial so it doesn't get dirty as easily. You can see a lot at the back too, you know, it doesn't, no blind spots or anything. I quite like these seats, the, this, the, this is the rear seats. They have a cup holder here. It's completely pointless, it's hard to see. It's very pointless, it gets knocked over all the time, never use it. Or the air conditioning comes out through the bottom of the seat. <laughs> Just speaker. And your window switches and stuff. So if you want to... Lights not that light, that's pretty nice. That's for the passenger door, so when you open it, the light should turn on. You know what coat hangers, no one uses these. Yeah, so, that little thing, if you're wondering what that is, that's actually for the reverse. So when you put in reverse, it ticks and tells you your distance and stuff. But these seats are a lot more comfortable, They're angled, so you get more space and yeah, I quite like the rear seats only. The front seats are not very comfortable. So, to unlock you, you have to do it twice. A bit dirty, they're quite dirty. My sister throws things in here all the time.
Well, that's my little walk around of the Volkswagen Polo. 2010 Volkswagen Polo. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you want to see some more videos. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.